Hey, what's going on everybody? Zach Katz here. In today's video, we're taking a look at the Walgreens Exclusive Series 2.5 Thor and Nighthawk. It is our first Nighthawk and our probably 30th or so Thor. But uh, it's our first animated Thor that's not the Dark Avengers Thor. So, anyway, it's cool to complete the Avengers team. We're just a Falcon short with the additions of this Iron Man and Thor from this series. So that's cool, and we're starting with the Squadron Supreme with Nighthawk and the Power Princess. So we will get to her eventually. Um, let's look at Thor first. So sliding Nighthawk out of the way. Thor, similar to the Dark Avengers, Thor is the same helmet, cape, and everything, just different colors. So this one obviously is Thor, 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 not... Dark Avengers Thor, Evil Thor. Cool. So, if you haven't seen the show and you're confused, uh, there is a alternate dimension team of Avengers that are evil, and they fight against the Avengers. So, not really that complicated. Uh, <laughs> so, Thor has his helmet and Mjolnir and his cape, and uh, let's take a closer look at them. So, his helmets you can see. Um, there's a little bit of sculpting and paint uh, bleeding, but uh, for the most part, it's very nice. I really like the wings in particular. Uh, there's a seam there and there, so that's not as noticeable when it's really far away. So, you know, when you get up close and personal, you know, you can see there's a little bit of paint there. Um, there's a silver speck right there, um, but again, far away, you can't really see that stuff, so I'm not going to nitpick too much on that stuff. Um, his arms, it's really cool, actually. They have his chain mail, so instead of going maybe in the comic book uh, line, they would have done his whole arm in chain mail. This is a more simpler approach, so you got the dark chainmail and then the light chainmail up there so that's neat and then he has a sculpted um, cover to his two-piece to elongate his body because he's bigger than most of the team um, and it would look bad without it I think too so Mjolnir is a interesting design it's got a silver bottom part of the handle, which I don't recall seeing very often in Thor's at the top of my memory. Um, and then it's a flat gray color, similar to this color of his arm and the bridge to his helmet and the wings. Uh, there's no saying on the side, as we've seen before, but it's not too big of a deal because, again, the simpler art style of the animated figures. So he does come with a couple other things. He comes with the traditional flight stand that we've seen a couple of times. It's cast in blue, which I always preferred the clear. So I like that. And then he comes with, I think should be standard with all Thors, a alternate hairpiece. So. He can get that over the cape. You can see there's a little bit extra plastic, but you can get that with an exacto. That's no problem. And he can not really look left or right or up or down much. The cape can get in the way of the arms and the legs. And then what you see is with his helmet on. can't really look left or right so unless they had soft plastic hair or actual hair can't really turn left or right with the Thor so not really that big of a deal anyway so that's Thor and let's slide in the Nighthawk so Nighthawk looks really great um, if you read Squadron or you watch the show um, he's a very similar character to Batman. 
Um, I'm not going to say he's a Batman clone because there are differences, but uh, he takes the similar approach to study his enemies and to plan out all, all scenarios. So uh, the character, the mini mate, look pretty similar. You have the more cartoon style, so I think maybe if this was a comic book figure, you'd have maybe more abdominal detailing and similar things to that, like, um, I will say I'm not the biggest fan of slipcover masks, so that's a mask that slides over a mini mate head. Um, I prefer when the mask has a cut out, so his face, uh, I wish was cut out, um, I'm not going to cut it myself. I have done stuff like that in the past, but it's tedious and it's very risky and damaging figures. And this figure at the moment is pretty hard to find, so I'm not going to take any chances ruining it. And it looks fine. I like the cape that they sculpted for him. It maybe could have been a little bit bigger, but uh, it's going to be made for just him. I can't see what else they would use it for, so I'm not going to complain that's what they want to come up with. So I think that it looks really neat with the ridges in it. it. Reminds me of like a cherry airhead or something. Makes me really want to go get some. Anyway, so the yellow is the comic gold color. Um, there is some white on the top of his boot and his glove and that goes all the way around, which I appreciate. Um, there is no back detailing the cape slides really easily around. Um, there's no detailing on the arm, but there is detail on the thigh. So you can see there's some muscle definition. So that's nice. The cape hinders the head from looking up at all. If you look up, it will pop off. If you look down, it will pop off. So that's something to be aware of. Um, you still can go left or right though. So. He does have that over Thor, and <laughs> the cape. It does not pop off unless you go up or down though, so you can go left or right and take the mask off. He does come with an alternate hair piece. Great. And the mask. Wow. Excuse me for a second. Let's get the mask off really quick. Great. There we go. Now his head's super loose. I was not like that when I got it. Oh well. Not the biggest of deals. Anyway, so that's Nighthawk without his mask. So he has that hair. And uh, he's a pretty cool character in the show. I mean, he's uh, not a good guy, but he has his perspective. So I don't know if you'd slap the term anti-hero because he's definitely not, <laughs> not a good guy. Anyway, so very cool to add Nighthawk. Um, and I look forward to Hyperion and Speed Demon and all the rest of the guys too. So, so Dr. Spectra. So anyway, cool set and uh, definitely be on the lookout at your local Walgreens. And uh, thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, hit like. Please share with your friends. Comment below which mini made of these two you prefer. Are you collecting the line? Uh, which characters you want to look forward to or we'd like to see uh, in the future. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. and Have a great day.